go to sleep. So, hi guys. So, I'm basically doing a, a video for some OBS automation. And so, basically, um, this one is technically OBS automation, but, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's to go with OBS, kind of, it, I'll, I'll get to, to showing you, so, let me just, and, so, basically, um, going to here, So basically, um, I'm going to show you, you see, um, here's Roadcaster and I also have this one, which is if I had this, when I say this, I can just say open, um, open mic A and B. So mic A would switch it to the roadcaster. Open mic B will switch it to the um to the CNI twenty microphone because this microphone has to be the main mic output when uh, when doing when doing um Shazam. Which is a which is a automation that's basically and basically it's it's a shortcut that I my modified to give me a shortcut to to, to give me the, the name of the song that plays and I wanted to activate it by voice and so basically I called it open I I, I said I made it clip that and so basically. The mic, the main mic, had to be um, the one you are speaking into. Usually, the um, road roadcaster is off when I'm not re recording or listening to music, and um, and when I'm not recording, I have to mute. I mean, when I'm listening to music, I have to mute, but on and off, so it can't hear me. And so, this mic that you see up there is usually on, and so. Basically, um, I'm, 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 I made the, I made it so it could switch to this microphone. There's Apple scripts to like do this and Apple scripts were working properly, but it basically opened up, uh, um, some preferences and just closed, closed them after that. And it just was more, more work. Just to, to do extra that. So, what I did was uh, um, use the software shortcut to uh, make a um, automation, and that automation is this. So basically, you download this, you you buy the software, Sound Source, which is uh, a rogue rogue Amiga, rogue Amiga pro product, just like go back, and then. Um, you can have it start up when when uh, when the computer boots, but if you're running it in one Mac, that basically severely slows down the computer. And so, the only thing that I usually keep up open is a strange strange stream deck. Everything else stays actually closed. And so, basically, um, you have the software. You basically then use either workflows from Automator or uh, or shortcuts. Shortcuts is probably um less less of a headache, and it's workable with Stream Deck. You can add the the, the same function into the Stream Stream Deck with with shortcuts. They have a um on the shortcuts um application on the Stream Deck a shortcut plugin. Which is easier than just to make app an automator and then add the app to the index. So this is less depth. Um, so basically, 
um, and shortcuts, you literally, um, I actually have one that's called Mic One and Mic Two. And with uh, Mic One, it is, if you see it, it is, it, um, plugin is set, input to Broadcaster Pro, and it will then quit the, quit the sound source application, which you can use uh, to, you, you, you can do some other stuff with this, but I just did that simple automation just so, um, it will open, change, it will open, change, and then close it, because I don't want to have, have, have it running all the time, and then my Q is pretty much the same thing, it changes input to HD Pro FPM C920, since I'm not speaking to anyone on this microphone, and it was cheaper than a actual microphone, uh, that sound directional. I pretty much just uh, have it do the same exact thing, but this one with it. So when I say open mic A, it will switch it to the roadcaster. Open mic B will switch it to the to the C920. And I had to say open because um it wasn't properly understanding um what I was saying. It's the only um bad thing about use using voice commands unless you train your voice it would not work properly. And so um if you just wanna use it on the stream deck you just add uh, the short shortcuts and then you just add this onto your buttons and then you can just press either or and switch switch between there instead of basically having to go to um here and then switching input. Um, I mean, switch switching output. You you can do same same thing with output that you do for input, and you can switch between them. But for for input, you have to go for the, you 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 could run the, the um you could run an automator application or you could uh, um run an Apple script or you could run run um the shortcuts and you just have to go to sound input select your device or if you're running just sound source you could basically just um click here if you always have it open here and then just drag it down and go to the um one you want to switch but uh, I just have it this way so when I do um, switch in between uh, when I do switch in between the actual mic microphones this one is dead dead dedicated to recording this is dead dedicated to voice commands and Shazam so and I'll show you how to add it so I add it um You go to here, you go to accessibility, and then you go to voice control, and you go to, go to commands, and you give it a command name. So, I have a couple here. So, so the A, B, and C are for drives I have open on my, um, on my computer. So, normally A is an SSD that I had to unplug for a mouse just so I can activate rogue amoeba um b is um vault one c is vault two uh then d is uh h doc and then c i mean e e is uh, um re re rename which is a uh, Older for renaming that point to my um what's it called um my my file box posted on the network and uh, that's there and uh, then I 
have OBS, which is the this one is runs a Vault Vault One um short shortcut, which basically transfers it onto Vault One and it transfers it to the archive folder after re rename it from insert name. I mean insert title and then does that and it does that with the press of a button on the stream deck or I can just say OBS. Open gaming is open. It opens the um Windows VM I have I'm running on this M1 um pause allows me to pause OBS. But uh um Pause allows me to pause OBS and then resume allows me to resume. Start is starting, stop is stopping the recording. And then mic A and B are changing the different input pairing, but that is the one I was talking about. The, the reason I originally was doing this project to switch between mic to make it easier. So when I say mic A, it just goes to the roadcaster, mic B it goes to Logitech, and so I can basically have it listen to the music in the background. When the when I say open mic B, it'll switch to mic B. When I say open mic A, it'll switch to mic A, which is roadcaster. And so the only, the only prerequisite to have is you have to have the roadcaster on, before the computer starts, or stuff will get messed up. Um, and so to do this, click on the plus button, and then you name it what which you want, or if you name or cut which one, for example, mic one, you just it will add mic one, and then depending on if you're on any application specifically. You can do have the specific stuff in that application, and then um you could uh, um just uh, just um have it uh, open stuff. You could have it uh, um do uh, um. So when, for example, this opens, you you you, you can have it run run applications, but the uh, um you put what you want to say here. So for example, if I say put one here and I say one, it'll do whatever I want it to like do. So it could open a finder item, it could open a, a URL, it could paste text, and then it could also paste the data. Um. Uh, press keyboard shortcuts. This is if you're trying to do stuff in OBS, for example, to start and stop recording, uh, run shortcuts, or run automated workflow, which is either the application or the or the stuff like that. And then, for example, I'm just gonna. Do this one real quick, and let's say I'm just gonna show you. So we're gonna save this into. I'm just showing it. And now we just uh, type one. So if we press done, it should be already there. So one. So wake up. And now if we type, say one. What happened? So 
one. Oh, there you go. Oh, it opens item. So if you say one, it opens item. That's just the the show of the workflow. So, and if we go to here and delete this, we end up having. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you what it does. I'm just gonna show you what the uh, um open A and open B does. So just uh keep looking at the the um this audio. So I'm not gonna have audio for a minute, but uh, it may break something, I'm not sure. If it does, then um this is the end of the video and um yeah, so you'll see um, what it does, but you can get the audio back if you uh, um switch it back. So yeah, so we're gonna do it. So it is open. Mic A. Open mic A. Open mic B. That's not working. No. So sucks, sucks. Probably because I'm using the mic, but uh, normally it would just switch between there. And uh, yeah. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, but it does uh, work like that. But it it would sw it switches when it doesn't switch when not in use. So it should work. But yeah, I'll confirm it. I'll pause it, and I should stop the actual video. And if it does work, you will see the video. And if it doesn't work, then uh, this never happened, so it should work out. So, like watching. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I just made sure it worked. It does work. So open mic A. Open mic A. Open mic B. There you go. See, no audio. Well, there's audio, but it's the one here. So if we look here, the audio that's coming through is from the roadcaster scale. You can hear it. So open mic B. Oh, I said, I already said B. Okay. Open mic A. Open mic A. There you go. So, I have to be more specific. Sorry about that. So, as you can see, it, it worked. My speech is just horrible. So, um, thanks for watching.